Well, here we are. The Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta. Swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shadda, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Nar Shadda's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. It means glorious jewel in Hatis, but don't let that fool you. It's the central breeding grounds of the Huts. Nar Shadda orbits it. Nal Hutta's as slimy as the Huts. Lots of swamp and bloated gas. It's where those slugs reach out and grab chunks of the galaxy. Trust me, we're not gonna go anywhere near the place unless we want to be washing the stink out of our clothes for the next few years. Anyone flying the Star Lanes has docked on Nar Shadda at least once. I wouldn't want to live there, and I doubt anyone does by choice. Well, not everyone who came to Nar Shadda were soldiers. A lot of worlds were destroyed by the Mandalorians, and the Jedi. Left a lot of people wandering the galaxy. Yeah, some came looking for work running freight and cargo. Still, there's only so many ships to go around and so many workers. So others lend their weapons to the huts in the exchange. It's become a prime base for raider recruitment across the galaxy. It won't be easy. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda. Finding anyone on the moon's surface is gonna be hard. We're gonna touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. Shouldn't be too hard. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda, finding anyone on the moon's surface is gonna be hard. We're gonna touch down in the refugee sector. I've plotted a course for the refugee sector and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's gonna find us here. Kavadumpe Masuraku, Popayi, Botenya, Tachimorota Gamsa, 
javascobo sabjo rigiso karve nokso mochi to sasa grande yo kichu no kada mirenito ren filoso ni heko chupana ret atamakcha to popo tenyo go jucho picha kwem taba ni sochu norotoga proto lala shishi juba to saji bacha ratakman san to kosha na chitolo observation Jedi follow the self-destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. Doveri nincha, yo nona shita sa chuch. Doveri nincha, yo nona shita sa chuch. Goli rosodish, ranta kras mobas. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon, it teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Never have I been to a place so alive with the Force, yet so dead to it. The contrast is like a blade. Word of warning, watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. Sure, most of the landing pads around here are unclaimed, or should be. They're pretty badly maintained, so they're not safe to land on. Well, I mean, not this one. But they all have the reputation, so we should be all right. I think. Maybe a little, but landing here means we didn't have to transmit our ID signature. You know what trouble that always brings. In fact, while we're here, we should get those signatures changed. Wouldn't make us such a target when we enter a new system. No, but I forgot to tell them we were landing. The refugee sector's a dead zone. No one cares too much who flies in and out of here as long as they're not carrying cargo that the Exchange or the Huts might want a piece of. All right then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. And just being here should be enough. People in the refugee sector don't tend to ask too many questions. We should be safe enough. Well, that means finding either a bounty hunter, a ranking member of the Exchange, or someone willing to talk. None of which are too appealing. Bounty hunters in the Exchange are going to want to shoot you. And someone who is willing to talk is willing to talk to anyone. Which means trouble. The bounty is a waste of our efforts. All that matters is the Jedi. The intentions of the thugs of this moon are of no consequence. Forgive me, but these bounty hunters pose a threat to her. Their persistence is unusual, and if they're not stopped, one of them may prove lucky. I agree. They're nothing more than a distraction. But even a distraction may prove fatal at a critical moment. We must protect her. If you are so certain of your path, then do what you will. It makes no difference. It's up to you. There's bound to be someone in the sector willing to spill their guts for a credit or two. Finding a Jedi, or anyone else touched by the Force here, will be difficult. The mass of people, the rush of their emotions. It makes detection difficult. But this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sector is as good as any place to begin our search, so let us begin. Well, if we're gonna search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon as possible. All right, if you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! Uh-oh. What's with you? Letting that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad! Yeah? Well, it's the first I've heard of it. Tell you what, let me check it out. If you're cleared, then you're clear. No trouble. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, don't let me hold you up then. Hmm. I gotta tell you, though, I got another one of your ships docking here within an hour. 
I'm not sure what to tell them. No, look, you can't keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. Y you've got us locked in. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. Well, they work for the exchange, for a quorum named Visquis. He's looking to step up in the exchange. The only language the exchange respects is money, so Visquis is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees here in Narshada as a cheap labor force. We're only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us in one place, so he can control us. That's always been the way. Well, except lately. The exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector hard, and I've no idea why. They've started kidnapping people, hurting others, but there seems to be no reason to it. <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help him out, or because you're making trouble. Either way, it's not a good thing. Whatever your reasons, thanks. Spare a few credits, friend. Uh, all right. I don't know much beyond the refugee sector here, but I can share what I know. No, should I? He doesn't sound like a hut. What, is he a bounty hunter or an exchange boss? Jedi Master? There aren't any Jedi Masters in the galaxy, let alone on Nar Shaddaa. This place is a cesspit, with the Exchange and the Hut stabbing their claws into everything. But you know, I did hear something about a bounty on Jedi though. Something the Exchange posted. Doesn't matter though. Aren't any more Jedi around, so no one's gonna be collecting that bounty. Friend, you did promise some... Look, one other thing. It's obvious you're new around here. I can tell it just by looking at you. Nar Shaddaa can be a rough place, and easy to get lost in. If you want, I can keep an ear out for you. Let you know if I hear anything. I'll do that then. I'll come seek you out if I hear anything I think you might want to know. I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Can you spare a few credits, maybe help another refugee in need? Thank you, stranger. I won't forget your kindness. Why did you do such a thing? Such kindnesses will mean nothing. His path is set. Giving him what he has not earned is like pouring sand into his hands.
And would that be a kindness? What if by surviving another day he brings a greater darkness upon another? The Force binds all things. The slightest push, the smallest touch, sends echoes throughout life. Even an act of kindness may have more severe repercussions than you know or can see. By giving him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target. Seeing another elevated often brings the eyes of others who suffer. And perhaps in the end, all you have wrought is more pain. And that is my lesson to you. Be careful of charity and kindness, lest you do more harm with open hands than with a clenched fist. Very well, but mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place. What did she want? Just answers to some questions. Asked about a Jedi Master of all things. Really? Interesting. Please, look, I, I already paid the exchange what I have. Here's the one with your credits. About time. Look, these gentlemen are getting impatient. Change muscle. When they hear about this, they'll come back a dozen strong and tear you limb from limb. Uh, all right. What'd you want to know? Jedi Master? You crazy? There aren't any more Jedi running around, let alone Masters. But you're serious, aren't you? All right. Well, look. If I were a Jedi, I'd be where I could help people. As for where that happens on Nar Shadda, I have no idea. The bounty hunters don't have any one place where they stick around. Best thing I can tell you is if you want to find one, get a bounty on your head and then wait. Are you serious? All right. I must be doing something right for you to come along and bail me out like you did. I guess the Jedi Code is still alive and well. If you say so, I'm not sure I believe it. There's a lot of people who need help in the galaxy. If we stop to help each one, the Sith are going to be on us faster than anything. Let's just accomplish our mission first, then worry about everyone else. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. It is Narshada, the true Narshada that you feel around you. It is this moon, with the metal and machines stripped away and the currents of the Force laid bare. I'm surprised you can feel it. 
I fear the damage to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the Force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. One might as well heal the universe, but such manipulation is possible, yes. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. Not in the sense you understand it. The ability to fool the minds of others to dominate them on a massive scale that you speak of is not achieved best through raw power. Manipulation is done through propelling events or selected ones into motion. It is done through teaching, through example, and through conviction. And the greatest of victories are not manipulations at all, but simply awakening others to the truth of what you believe, of hearing it echoed around you in life. But let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. Hey, I saw that ship you flew in on. My ship. Your ship? I'd lay off the spice if I were you. That's our ship, not yours. Was I talking to you? I tell you, that ship's mine. It's the Evan Hawk, isn't it? She was stolen from me during a routine run in the Mid-Rim, near the close of the Mandalorian Wars. The Registry's 34P7JK. It's got a temperamental hyperdrive, and the turrets can be sluggish and unresponsive against fast-moving fighters. She's also got two secret compartments, one in the cargo hold, right near the plasteel cylinders in the back, and the second beneath the bunks in the starboard cabin. Whoa, he could have gotten that information some other way than owning the ship. Come on, he's skifting us. So, you're gonna hand it over now, or are you going to be difficult? No deal. A ship's worth its weight in spice on Narshada, and nothing's worth being trapped here another year scrounging freight jobs. What? It's our ship. I mean, your ship. That I fly. Good to hear you aren't going to challenge it. That makes things a lot easier. What are you doing? That's gonna trap us here. I'll be going now. Get used to the solid ground beneath you. <laughs> Let me shoot him in the back, no one has to know. Kachi <laughs> Muli brava i berendia tia wish no nunga se 
utalti grambat, mandraco tu sa minarin kadin. Very nicha, your nona she tas a truth. Do one at two mobiles? Dorcha no bangani honkades? Torsenta we not a tono tocha? Tocha ramacaca musuran cana. Cavavolpa Muleji, Kumana Minta, Barawamba, Michedos, Kawana Bota, Yunta Tanga Kinamatura, Tayaita, Tabosan Hansata, Unta Chiwita Inca Kikraya Nachawanga Cone, Dovrekun Mili was a slima Puguanga Samoana Muta. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura tayaita ta bosanan hansata da hupa bosa kurata go jujuto yoke hiata yamba wajiaki yukito tune ta kometa ka playa justing miki gongo beaste kun grabila king no mula ra kichi kuta grasa kisha Que chubo grayo bog no cada etapa tiza don merinita cava dumpa munsuru cupla liawa bo bagaragawanda y aitua uluan diuma no tinor crelun conferento crin bano croc nix serendo doncha morbansum dovre con mili vos aslima po guanga samoana muta chone murlera Ton king e bano jansaka ni karaska. Tanja nik de mawimbo kranta mi bilan. Donos emerekith. Wana rakora chi drunka. Saki chobi nasasa. Wana rachata. Shunish. So, you have the look of a seasoned spacer about you. What bat was you looking for? Well, honestly, there's not much for people like you and I to do around here. If you, uh, catch my meaning. Well, our kind isn't exactly the majority on this planet. Well, there is plenty for them to do. The Pazak Den, Swoop Races, the Jek Jek Tar. They're pretty much taken care of. 
Now there's a place that's literally deadly for our kind. Jet Jet Tar is a bar filled with cyanogen gas. It's poisonous to you and I, but the aliens drink it up and pay good money to do so. The cyanogen gas also acts as a social buffer, since the people who typically frequent Jet Jet Tar aren't interested in speaking to the likes of you and I in the first place. Yeah, the Pazak Den is a glorified social club for hardline Pazak players. It's exclusive, though, with a guard at the door and a password needed to simply get in. Don't know why you'd want to get into that place. Bunch of Firaxa sharks will strip you clean of your credits, especially the champ. He only shows up to play people he deems worthy enough. You'd just have to beat about everyone in that place before he'd even think of coming out of hiding. me at a rare time. Usually there are many players who seek to play, but you are fortunate to have caught me at a moment of quiet. I fear it is because I am simply not a skilled Pazak player. I'm afraid protocol droid skills and language interpretation are not something that lend themselves to Pazak and probability. Why? I cannot help myself. In fact, Every time I seek to find the answer to that question, I am consumed with the need to come here and play Pizak. I am concerned that the problem may lie with my memory core. Without routine memory wipes, you know, such degradation is known to occur, leading to instabilities. I fear my obsession with Pizak is one such corruption. I am not sure I wish it fixed. I do find some degree of satisfaction in playing. Would you like to play? Yeah. Maybe if the droid's not very good, there's some credits to be made here. Oh, most certainly, sir. I am not a good player. Quite the mark, as it were. I suppose you're right. 
I wouldn't want the problem to spread to my many other functions. Oh, that feels much better. I cannot believe I went on and on about such a foolish game. Thank you, truly thank you. Vota su, molam pastara mak torin krumaga wan. I think maybe you should let me handle this one. Kichu no kada mirenito. Ren filoso ni heko chupa naret ata makcha. Da hupo botenyo go jucho picha. Koemariam da watasito insula raka raka chata. Tamaso kinchu da wanka. Mopi una wana si chukora tawa. Donos emaragith. Wana rako rachi drum ka sa inchobin sasha. Tosima na racha. Donos emaragith. Wana rakora chi drum ka sa inchobin sasha. Tosima na rachata. Donos emaragith. Wana rakora chi drum ka sa inchobin sasha. Tosima na rachata. Moka kama ran endoso ran wi no chabi. Tu ran tamana sobu. Donos emaragith, wana rakora chi drum ka sa Moka kama ran endoso ran wi no chabi Tu ran tamana sobu Donos emaragith, wana rakora chi drum ka sa in- Kichu no kada mirenito. Grati o batim com padrão na música na bosca wamba. Tu vai levar com o tocha, manjo a carlema com o chorre de massa. E frente um dashi preto se me o chorre crenho. Nora água música e o colo a laubaca. Ama que nem mais pelo da nariz na espiga. Chorre o tocha e rema caras. Coronel a carreira de cima de tira lá.
I used to serve in the Mandalorian Wars. Then the Jedi Civil War crushed the Republic. Are you one of Sakwesh's men? Did you take my daughter? The Overseer, Sakwesh, he took my daughter to sell to the Hutts, all because I told him I could not pay his tribute. I owe Sakwesh 600 credits. I, I don't have enough. Thank you. But I, uh, won't he track us down and kidnap her again? Thank you. Thank you. Please hurry. After the huts have her, it, it will be impossible to find her. Something up? Hey, you look like a spacer. You work at the docks? 
because if you need a crew, I'm your man. I flew during the Mandalorian Wars, and again during the Jedi Civil War. Yes, and look where I ended up. You need a pilot's license to fly the freighters here. They're tough to get without sponsorship. I'd greatly appreciate that. One of Sakwesh's calf hounds? Then maybe I ought to keep a tighter leash on his tentacles, back brain, because he's running this sector into the ground. My mom owes Sasquatch some credits, so he took me to sell me to the huts. They always need spice handlers for their camps. A lot of people die down there. Anything is better than this slum. Really? Oh, why didn't you say so? Oh, sorry about those things I said to you. Oh, you do look a little like a calf hound, though. Oh, goody, I was hoping I'd get to sit in this cell a little longer.
Hey, any luck yet? All right, I can tell.
Dobre kun mili wosa slima po wanga samana muta. Kavana takalu, kavana mi donki krato. Ta winti ni ja biasta melavari iglati ta chapoi. Ya tuka u wanrika chotin wanima orata wakata chi luma lispa. Da upa o sakurata go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajiyaki. You keep to tune. Dovrekun mili, dovrekun mili wosa slima po wanga samoana nucha. Unta chivita inka ki kraya na cha wanga kone. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ta bosana nansata. Da hupa bosa kurata go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajiyaki. You keep to tune. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ta bosana nansata. The exchanges thugs are always demanding time. We don't have much more to give. Greetings. Are you the spacer we were told about? Oh, we were expecting one of the pilots from the docks sometime soon to come and get us off Nar Shadal. He's late. I don't know where he is. I hope not, but you may be right. Thank you. To be honest, I don't even know his name. Some guy named Planor said he had a pilot friend who would take us for 500 credits. 50 credits? Why? I was afraid of that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Thank you. I'm beginning to lose hope that we'll ever get out of here. If any more refugees trying to come in here, we'll cut them down. This is Serico territory. Get out of here before we space you. Got it? We are. Now beat it. If the exchange tries to muscle it, we'll break them. Yeah? What about the exchange? We can hold our own against them. Not that it's your concern. Do you now? Suppose I were interested. What's this plan of yours? That would be suicidal. Almost as suicidal as you're making that absurd suggestion.
furious.
Let's see, three bricks of spice up to Elysia, then with a the turnaround, um, no, no, that won't work. Uh, come act! Here so soon? I wasn't expecting you for... Uh, well, not now, anyway. The journey shall be long to the winch, if it may last in touch. Yeah, well, I... Uh, <laughs> I tried to explain that, you see, but, um... I had no choice! These, uh, these thugs showed up and uh, they said that you could go spice yourselves. And uh, I was like, no, no, this is the Red Eclipse. And. Uh... Bodrashon Kontichaum, King Lord Taitha Kun, Aitha Patisa Tong, Tia Kun Bato Taun, Chona Choba. Tapi Chayubong, Chichiskapule, Chumbula, Watagratuk, Chimula. Chupayubong la bograturong Ag tichimait muliran yun chuba Mihung kagratuk jimut malyabist wait wata Chichi naudung chong yomabula yuman Yoma wa mani boba, Lord a wish wanga shachi, ni hunka gratuk, jimut malia bist wet wata. Chichi, nao dung chong yoma bola yuman, chopiti man punjame, sashange bedwana mulela, chupa wanga kuna koticha, chuna kuna sa. Chopiti man punjame, sashange bedwana mulela, chupa wanga kuna koticha, chuna kuna saa. 